Hey, today we're going to be talking about freedom. This day commemorates a victory for freedom over tyranny and oppression. I also use this day as a way to remember freedom from sin and the price that Jesus paid to free me from my slavery to sin. All people have been enslaved to sin, but the great price that Jesus paid to free us all is not something that we should be taking for granted or overlooking. I like to use this day as a reminder to be thankful for the freedom given to me that I am so undeserving of. In Galatians 5.1, it is written, It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then, and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. We have to remember that Jesus set us free from the bonds of sin and death. But it's on us to use that freedom to glorify and serve the one who sacrificed so much for us. God allows us the freedom to make our own choices, but he's already paid our way for eternal salvation. Paul also writes in Romans 6.20-22, When you were slaves to sin, you were free from the control of righteousness. What benefit did you reap at that time from the things you are now ashamed of? Those things result in death. But now that you have been set free from sin and have become slaves of God, the benefit you reap leads to holiness and the result is eternal life. God has already set us free and given us the gift of eternal life. Eternal life! That is a freedom and gift we're celebrating every day. This day should also be used for celebrating the gift of everlasting life. Now freedom doesn't come without its strings attached. There's responsibility that comes with freedom too. In 1 Corinthians 6.12, Paul writes, I have the right to do anything, you say, but not everything is beneficial. I have the right to do anything but I will not be mastered by anything. God gives us the freedom to make our own choices, but not all choices are beneficial. What does he mean by beneficial? Beneficial in glory to the kingdom. Beneficial in setting an example for others. Beneficial in fighting back the yoke of slavery and preserving freedom. God wants us to be free, but he wants us to use that freedom for the benefit of his eternal kingdom in his glory. Glory that we're going to share when he returns for us. Don't be like this world, enslaved and burdened by sin. Be a new creature and celebrate freedom. Paul writes in Romans 12 too, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Be free from the chains of sin. Be free from the chains of sin, death, and this world. Be the being of freedom that God has called you to be and celebrate that freedom. God bless you and celebrate that freedom every day.